Hey everyone, it's Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at five strong buy dividend stocks for October. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. The month of October is here, so it's time to take a look at five dividend stocks, all with ex-dividend dates coming up this month. That ex-dividend date is the day you must own the stock before in order to be eligible for that next dividend payment. So with those coming up in the next few weeks, you won't have to wait long to start collecting that passive dividend income. We found today's stocks using the Tip Ranks dividend calendar. This is found under the dividend menu and will show all the upcoming companies with ex-dividend dates. Down below, we sorted for stocks with a strong buy consensus and trading on the major exchanges. And just before we get into today's stocks, this is a friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel. If you've been wanting to unlock some fantastic investment research tools, now is a great time to do so. TipRanks is having a 40% off sale this week, so you can head on over to the website to take advantage now. Now let's get right into our five strong by dividend stocks for October. We're gonna kick things off with dividend royalty, Cisco. They trade under the ticker SYY, currently priced at $77.70. The stock has climbed over 22.5% over this past year and is up about 12% in the last three months. They do currently score a 10 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. Cisco is a global food distributor, selling both food, kitchen equipment, and other supplies to a variety of customers. With distribution facilities worldwide, they supply food to restaurants, healthcare and educational facilities, hotels, and other businesses that prepare meals away from home. And they have achieved royalty status as a dividend king, having increased and paid their dividend for 55 consecutive years. Their current quarterly dividend is 51 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.59%. Their ex-dividend date is coming up later this week on October 4th for a payment date of October 25th. At the end of the month, on October 29th, they'll be sharing their Q1 earnings report, and this does follow both an earnings and revenue beat for their fourth quarter back in July. For their Q1, analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $1.13. This follows Q4 earnings report of $1.39, which beat expectations by $0.01 cent per share. Revenue came in at $20.56 billion, which did grow 4.2% year-over-year, beating estimates by $50 million. The company also saw their gross profit increase 4.2% to $3.8 billion. Cisco is rated a strong buy with 10 current analyst ratings, coming in with 8 buys and 2 holds. And the average price target of $86.50 implies an upside potential of about 11.3%. Looking at those ratings down below, on the low end, we do have a hold here at $81 for an upside of 4.2%. And our most recent rating comes from Jefferies at $92. That's our high-end price target with an upside of over 18%. Number two on our list is HASI, or Hannon Armstrong Sustainable Infrastructure. They trade under the ticker HASI, currently priced just above $34 per share. Their stock has climbed 86% over this past year, and in the last three months have gained 21%. They currently score a neutral rating of 6 on the TipRank Smart Score. HASI invests in climate change solutions and sustainable infrastructure. They provide capital to the leading companies in the energy efficiency, renewable energy, and other sustainable infrastructure markets with the goal to generate attractive returns from a diversified portfolio of products with long-term, predictable cash flows. They've now been paying and increasing their dividend for 11 consecutive years. And their current quarterly dividend is $0.41 cents per share for a dividend yield of 4.71%. Their ex-dividend date is also October 4th for a payment on October 18th. They'll be sharing their Q3 earnings report on Halloween, October 31st, and this does follow an earnings beat back at the start of August. For their third quarter, analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $0.55, cents, which is a bit of a decrease from last year's. This does follow their earnings per share of $0.63 cents on August 1st, which beat estimates by $0.07 cents per share. Revenue came in at $94.52 million, which grew 27% year-over-year. The company also announced a new strategic partnership with KKR, targeting co-investments of $2 billion over the next 18 months. Hasi also has 10 current analyst ratings, coming in as a strong buy with 9 buys and 1 hold. And their average price target of $42.25 implies an upside potential of nearly 23%. Looking at those ratings down below, on the low end we do have a buy rating at $37 for an upside of 7.6%, while our high end price target is $48 from Oppenheimer for an upside of over 39%. Our third dividend stock for October is American Tower. 
trading under the ticker AMT. They're currently priced at about $230 per share, having climbed over 47% in the past year and in the last three months gaining about 19%. They currently score a 9 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. American Tower is one of the largest REITs or real estate investment trusts. They own, develop, and operate wireless and broadcast communication infrastructure across several countries. Their business model allows multiple wireless communication tenants to share a single tower, helping reduce network infrastructure costs. They also offer customized services to support their site leasing business, including site acquisition, zoning, and permitting. American Tower has been paying out their dividend since 2011. And their current quarterly dividend comes in at $1.62 for a dividend yield of 2.85%. Their ex-dividend date is October 9th for payment on October 25th. And just before that payment date on October 24th, they'll be sharing their third quarter report. This follows their Q2 back on July 30th, where the company had an earnings and revenue beat and increased their future guidance. For their Q3, analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $1.58, which is a notable increase over last year's. This follows their Q2 earnings report, where they had earnings per share of $1.92, beating by $0.34 cents per share, and revenue came in at $2.9 billion, beating by $80 million. American Tower saw their net income increase over 96% to $908 million. With 12 current analyst ratings, American Tower is rated a strong buy, with 10 buys and 2 holds. The average price target of $240 implies an upside of about 4.4%, and that is even with some analysts increasing their price targets over the last few weeks. Our low-end price target is a hold rating here with a downside of about 4%, while our high-end price target is from BMO Capital at 260 for an upside of 12.6%. Number four on our list today is Dime Community Bank. They trade under the ticker DCOM, currently priced just shy of $29 per share. They've gained 53.5% over the past year, and in the last three months are up 45%, currently scoring an 8 on the TipRank Smart Score. Dime Community Bank offers a range of financial and banking solutions. Founded back in 1988, their services include business checking, loans and mortgages, cash management, merchant services, title insurance, foreign exchange services, equipment financing and leasing, municipal banking, SBA lending, and online banking and bill pay. They've been paying out a dividend since about 1997. And their current quarterly dividend is $0.25 cents per share for a dividend yield of 3.56%. Their ex-dividend date is October 17th for a payment on October 24th. And then on October 25th, they'll be sharing their Q3 earnings report. For their third quarter, analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $0.40, cents, which is a $0.16 cent decrease from last year. But this does follow their Q2, where they saw that earnings per share increase $0.05 cents versus the prior quarter, coming in at $0.43 cents per share, beating estimates. Revenue came in at $87.3 million, beating estimates by about $4 million. Their stock does just have four current analyst ratings, but comes in as a strong buy with three buys and one. The average price target of $29 does imply a slight upside of 2.74%, and we have a bit of a range of price targets here. On the low end, we do have a hold here, back from July, with a downside of nearly 10%, while our most recent rating here in September comes from Raymond James at $35 for an upside of 21%. If you've made it to our fifth stock today, then this is a reminder to make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Last but not least on the list, we're taking a look at Concentrix. They trade under the ticker CNXC, currently priced at $51 per share. They're in the red this past year, having dropped 35% and declining over 19% in the last three months. They do currently score a 9 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. Concentrix provides technology and services to help businesses grow their customer experience. From AI to APIs and advanced analytics, they have the most complete and advanced end-to-end -end capabilities out there, offering services such as strategy, design, digital engineering, and advanced data analytics. Working with clients in many sectors, including tech, retail, banking, healthcare, communication, automotive, and energy, they offer a work-from-home solution to help employees stay connected with customers and deliver customer service. They've only been paying a dividend for a few years, but did recently increase it by 10%. And their current quarterly dividend comes in at $0.33 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.35%. Their ex-dividend date is October 25th for payment on November 5th. And they just shared their Q3 earnings report on September 25th. They did slightly miss on earnings, but came out with a revenue beat. They reported Q3 earnings per share of $2.87, falling about $0.03 cents short from expectations, while revenue came in at $2.38 billion, which grew 46% year-over-year. 
and during the quarter, they returned $60 million to shareholders through share repurchases and dividends. Once again, we have four current analyst ratings coming in as a strong buy with three buys and one hold. But on this stock, our average price target of over $81 implies an upside of 59% from current prices. Looking at those ratings down below, on the low end, we have two at $70 for an upside of 37%, while our most recent price target here from Canaccord Genuity is an upside of 96%. So that is a quick look at five strong buy dividend stocks, all with ex-dividend dates in the month of October. Let me know your thoughts on these companies and what other dividend stocks you love in the comments down below. I know there's a lot of great options out there and I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so make sure you always stick to your own investment plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.